I have uh, got an email uh, into the studio, as we do uh, so often into our executive producer's office, uh, saying we got to talk to this company called Heart Sciences. And Heart Sciences uh, is, bringing, uh, is bridging what they call a diagnostic gap in cardiac care by, by figuring out early detection. Huge. Okay? Now, I don't know if you, I got an Apple Watch, and I hate to say the only reason I got an Apple Watch is so I can count my steps. Because, you know, who needs a watch? We got a, we got a, we got a uh, um, wife. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll tell you what time it is. <laughs> and if you're late. Um, <laughs> um, oh, boy. But the bottom line is, <laughs> is the technology now is if you, you can check your, your watch for AFib. I do it all the time. Do you really? Absolutely. Is it wrong that the left side is numb all the time, Mike? Have you, does it have a thing on that for you? <laughs> Maybe have a salad. <clears throat> um, so anyway, Andrew it's Simpson. Just a tick. So we got a we got an email about Andrew Simpson. Andrew Simpson is the CEO of a company called Heart Sciences. They are publicly traded under the stock symbol so H S C S HeartSciences.com. He joins us now via Zoom. Andrew, thank you for being so generous with your time and coming on with us today. Because uh, cardiac, uh, you hear the word cardiac, and everybody steps to attention here. And it's uh, when you start talking about early detection, uh, boy, you got my attention. That's for sure. So talk about that a little bit. Welcome to the program. Thanks, Sully. I appreciate uh, being here. So. What we're essentially doing is changing what's possible with an ECG. So the ECG has been around about 100 years, but it has uh, significant limitations in the types of heart disease that it can detect. Okay. Um, so what we're doing is we're applying advanced science and artificial intelligence to basically make it detect cardiac dysfunction at an early stage. And the reason why that's important is, you know, most people, everybody's heard, you will have heard of somebody that's, um, had a heart attack unexpectedly or even died from a heart attack unexpectedly. And that's essentially because there isn't a test for a frontline physician to be able to effectively work out whether you've got uh, heart disease. So the ECG is low cost. It's easy to perform. You don't need expensive imaging tests or a cardiologist. So it's the perfect test. It just needs to be broader and be able to do more. And that's what we're about. I think you know as I'm looking at your at your notes here, um, you know there there is no, as you mentioned, low cost, frontline medical device that can screen for heart disease. I can get a cardia that tells me if I'm in sinus rhythm or not. I can look at my watch, none of which can tell you if you had a heart attack or on the way to a heart attack. And I think that's a really interesting designation, because I think those I mean that that's the off ramp, to what we really need to know, right? I mean it's that last inch solution that we're missing here. Talk about that. Yeah, well, if, if you think about the conventional ECG, which, which would include the cardio or the Apple Watch, the signal or the trace that you see is a time and voltage signal. I mean, that's a digital, that's an oscilloscope. Just think, where, where has a digital signal been the uh, state of advanced technology for decades now? It was in that China um, balloon, I think, that, uh, that was using yes. 17, that was using <laughs> yeah, 17, been, the technology from down. the 1700s, if I'm not mistaken, was when the balloon was invented. No, I think, yeah. I, I get your point. There's nothing but, new to um, see here, right? No, exactly. Um, so it'll tell you if you've got a rhythm issue, like AFib, you know, perfect for telling you if you've got a rhythm issue, but it, it won't identify whether you've got other diseases that are impacting your cardiac function, the function of your heart. So guess what? With the electrical signal, there's a lot more information to bring to bear. That's what we do. And suddenly you're able to make the ECG way more valuable in that it can identify whether you've got heart disease at an early stage. And look, this the field that we're talking about, which is making the ECG do more, it is indisputable now that this is going to be a major, major rev revolution mm -hmm. because of research uh, that's going on. And, you know, we had a publication that was put out and they basically said the field that we're talking about of making an ECG do more is the most important advances in electrocardiography since its inception. And given it's been around 100 years, that's a pretty big statement. Here's my question for you, Andrew. Um, first of all, that's a good looking P wave you got there showing on your, uh, see, see how much I know about this stuff? <laughs> if you don't have a P wave, that's, that's why your left arm's numb, Mike, most of the time. Maybe you should see somebody about okay. that. Okay. Um, uh, the, uh, silent killer as it's well known as, as you're yep. talking about, um, is more deadly and get this, this is going to knock your socks off because I didn't know this more deadly than all cancers combined. 
right? Am I accurate in saying that? The, yeah, the, and the biggest spend in healthcare around the world on the U.S. So, so talk about for your company. What's what is the what's the the the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? I mean, what you know, for, in terms of patient care, in terms of what we can expect as consumers or patients, and, and and what you guys expect as a company, because you guys have a technology that's proprietary that's solving this issue. And, and once again, the name of the company is Heart Sciences. They are publicly traded under the stock symbol HSCS. One of your shareholders told us to talk to you. And I'm sure glad we did because we want to have you back and talk about it. But talk about talk about what you're looking forward to most here in 2023 in regards to the patient side as well as your technology. Yeah. So we're at the moment where we've not yet received FDA uh, clearance. We're in the late stages of a resubmission for what's called a de novo clearance, which basically means you're a new type of technology. So when I say we're doing something new, the FDA agrees with that. Um, so we would be expect to be resubmitting for that um, uh, FDA submission in the next few months. That would put us on a pathway. You know, the FDA is usually kind of six to nine months for a, an approval process. Um, but then this would be available for use by physicians on patients. Sure. And, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a low cost test. It's an ECG. It's, it's a similar cost to an ECG. But it means that your frontline physician, instead of, you know, not being able to screen you for your heart disease, would be able to tell whether you've got cardiac dysfunction and even pick that up an, at an early stage. And look, the challenge in the health system isn't in cardiology. Cardiologists have got all the imaging tests in the world. They've got fantastic equipment that can tell you whether you've got heart disease. The problem is the referral process, because yeah, most people in, right? in the United States find out they've got heart disease by having an event. Well, guess what? A heart attack's not a good way to find out you've got heart disease. Yeah. And most people being referred to cardiology turn out to have a negative test so think of the tens of billions of dollars that's costing the health system Jeez. Um, uh, andrew i want you back on the air with us in the weeks to come here because one thing we didn't have a chance to talk to because we're short on time is is, is that the covid 19 pandemic has has increased the risk of all this stuff that's something we didn't get to talk about uh listen you need to come back on, on air with us as soon as possible let me get to san diego his name is andrew simpson of course name of the company heart sciences h s c s is their stock symbol go to heartsciences.com Mike, go there today. Yes.